what is happening everybody what is going on recipe video here on my channel so i was going to do like i was going to do a uh, cinnamon roll i was going to do a cinnamon roll recipe but uh as i was sitting there working on my cinnamon roll recipe as is as is usually the case uh somebody else started doing a cinnamon roll recipe zesty vapes uh if you guys aren't subbed to zesty go check out zesty uh, awesome cat, awesome cat, doing great things over on his channel. He does a lot of DIYing. Just really, really cool guy. I got to meet him when I was in Detroit. This will be my first regular video since I got back from Detroit. So awesome, such an awesome trip. Uh, I'm actually recording this after. I've already shot uh, pretty much the rest of the video. Uh, I do need to shoot an outro, outro after this, but the audio got messed up somehow, so I'll probably just play it quickly play the mixing quickly and then we'll get to the very end we'll get to the uh, we'll, we'll get to the outro but we're doing peach pie uh i figured peach pie there's not a lot of good peach pie vapes out there you know every once in a while someone will you know whip up a nice little a nice little peach cobbler recipe or something like that but an actual piece of peach pie it sounded tasty to me once i once my uh, cinnamon roll uh, kind of went out the window. I have a recipe made up for it. I'll make it in a couple weeks or something. It's a great flavor for helping people get off of cigarettes. But I figured we'd just go ahead and do something, not simple, but something tasty. Something easy and something tasty. It's an easy recipe to mix up. There's a couple ingredients that you that you do measure at a little low. Uh, it's got some brown sugar in it. I put a little uh, cinnamon danish swirl in it to kind of get like a sprinkled cinnamon like you're sprinkling cinnamon over the top of the um, over the top of the pie crust as it's cooking. Uh, threw a little butter in for a little buttery for a little butteriness in the crust. A little saline just because saline is always good. And then we top it with some whipped cream. But really, a couple of the main points that we'll make here is there's two peach flavors that I'll really recommend for folks. Uh, juicy peach by Capella. Capella's juicy peach. White peach by Flavor Art white peach by flavor both outstanding peach flavors peach has a tendency to be a little bit of a difficult flavor to work with so keep that in mind when you're first looking at when you're looking to put a peach recipe together a lot of the peach flavors like juicy peach from tpa it's got a nice enough flavor going in but the aftertaste on it is is something to be remarked upon so keep that in mind a lot of times your a lot of times like the peach flavors just won't quite be right and i found with these two kind of like blueberry extra and blueberry wild you can use and you can vary the percentage a bit on each of them and generally you can run into what you're looking for as far as uh as far as a peach flavor of course fresh of course fresh you got distracted trying to say peach flavor you just adjust the two uh a good place to start would be like one and a half and one and a half and you just adjust like the, the juicy peach is slightly more artificial. The white peach is a bit more authentic. So you want more authentic. Kick that flavor art white peach up to two. Go ahead and take the juicy peach up to about two and a half or so. Really lovely, really lovely flavor combination. In this recipe, I'm using 2%. Uh, 2% is about as high as I'll go with white peach. Just as a rule. Uh, otherwise, it can it can... Get a little it can get a little froggy it can start running over the top of other flavors we wanted the other flavors to stand out in this recipe and then three percent of juicy peach i found that was about what i was looking for to try and come up with a peach pie filling and then we added a, a half percent of black currant to get that to get that pie filling flavor the gelatin type flavor and the black currant will also help kind of kind of enhance the peach make it a little bit brighter in the recipe threw a couple drops of saline in kind of for a similar purpose it'll help brighten that peach up a bit but then it also helps it helps that crust and we do have a kind of a layered crust in this recipe it helps that crust kind of come along so you'll see all that down below you'll see all the different ingredients to see what we did down below like i said i'll probably just chuck some copyright free music in on top of it and then uh uh then we'll cut to being back up here back up top so everybody enjoy the mix down
everybody back up top so during the recipe i forgot to add saline and on the original on the original shoot uh before i found out my audio was messed up on the video i i had a whole spiel but basically what it comes down to is something small like saline you can just go back and add it uh it's only it's three drops it's 0.2 mls it's not really going to affect the recipe now if you forget something big and you've already vg'd it out try it see what it tastes like but if I had forgotten one of the peaches, I would have wound up with a with a mess of a recipe. So use your own best judgment. DIY, you know, none of us are perfect. You know, we all we all try and do the best we can. Do your best. Do your best on the recipes. Sometimes they're going to turn out good. Sometimes they won't turn out so hot. But on this particular one, I forgot to add the saline during the video. I added it in the second section uh, where my audio was messed up. I sounded like I sounded like like cookie monster on an audio on an auto tune maybe i'll cut maybe i'll leave a clip of what it sounds like i'll leave a clip right here that's why i had to reshoot this section but basically what it comes down to everybody is if it's something small feel free to go back and add it if you forgot half a percent of something if you got you know, go back and add it to the recipe. You, you know, we don't, we're not always perfect. I try, I try my best, but every once in a while I forget. And the saline bottle happened to be sitting off to the side when I was doing the recipe. And I didn't look at it until I was back up top. I was doing my shaking. I'd actually tried the recipe a bit. And then I looked over and I saw my saline bottle. I was like, crap, I wanted to add saline to this recipe to help kind of punch that peach up one more notch. It was, you know, it's a really good recipe without the saline. You don't need the saline. The saline just adds something to it that if you have it, why wouldn't you add it? It's it's one of those things. It's one of those things. I know I do. I've been adding a lot of saline to things lately. Uh, it's it's a really it's really nice to have. It can really, it can really turn a corner for your recipe. So if you get a chance, I know they have it on DIY Vapor Supply. You can actually just go buy like a 30 mil bottle of saline. You won't need any more of that because we're only adding like one drop for every 10 mils and little drops, like 47 drops per ml size drops, little teeny drops. But it's, it's, it's a great flavor additive. It's a great flavor additive. Um, it's like adding salt to anything else. It, it brings the flavors out and it helps bring the crust out a bit more. And it helps brighten that peach up a bit more. Here's the recipe. Here's the final recipe, everybody. It is actually, it's it's a great little peach pie recipe. Um, it's not going to change the world. But it is very good. And if you like, if you've been looking for a good peach vape, this would be something to, something to grab. Uh, this would be a good recipe for you to mix up, something to try. And it might give you ideas for something that you wanted to do, like a peach cobbler or you want to do something else with peaches. And you were looking for a good combination of peach flavors. This 2% white peach, the 3% juicy peach is a fantastic combination. It's a great peach flavor. It works really well as the peach pie filling. Uh, I, If I was aiming for a little more authentic, I would dial the juicy peach back probably to like two, two and a half and do like two and two or two and a half and two and then i would get a more authentic peach but since we were doing peach pie filling if you were looking to put peach pie filling in something uh it would be great you could add strawberry cysts you could do a strawberry peach pie you could add a little bit of lemon sicily in it and give it a little bit of a citrus kick you could do all sorts of things with just this recipe it's a it's a great little base to start with as far as like the peach flavors and the the uh the uh, pie crust, the pie crust. Uh, some of you will see the brown sugar in the recipe and kind of wonder, hey, fresh, why did you add the brown sugar? Brown sugar and peaches is a, is a nice little flavor combination. It's not something you would normally think of when you think of peaches, uh, but brown sugar on peaches is fantastic, fantastic. Little peaches and cream sprinkle, a little brown sugar over the top. It's lovely. But that brown sugar flavor actually will give the pie crust, part of the pie crust, like a little bit of an overcooked note, like almost burnt, but not quite. So it gives, it adds an extra layer of depth actually to the pie crust as well as, as, as well as helping to bring out those peaches. So something small like brown sugar can make the, the, all the difference in the world in a recipe. Great little, it's a great little flavor to add in. Never use it over half a percent. Otherwise you'll taste nothing but burnt or brown sugar. One of those two. 
half a percent lower, fantastic flavor. I do like I do like TPA brown sugar. It's a great little great little flavor to use to add like an overcooked note or to get that that rich burnt sugar taste into your recipe. Mm. You know, and the peach the peach in this is is really what I hope people will take away is the peach flavor that you can achieve using those two peach flavors. It's so nice. So, so nice, everybody. Just a great, great peach pie filling at those two. And if you're looking to make a cobbler or, you know, you're looking to, you're thinking of like canned peaches. This is canned peaches. That 2% white peach, 3% juicy peach. That's your canned peach. Juicy peach by itself is close to like peach rings. And the white peach is, is more of an authentic peach. So we dial in what we're looking for. And this was, on this particular case, we're looking for that pie filling. The black currant, of course, I added black currant to this. I add black currant to like everything. If you guys didn't know, that's kind of like my trademark move. Like everybody has a trademark move. This is my trademark move. I slip some black currant into, into a lot of recipes because it really brings out the peach. And it gives it that gelatin note. And it turns it into pie filling rather than just being peaches sitting on pie crust with a little bit of whipped cream. Now we've got pie filling. And that's why I used the black currant there. Saline just helping bring everything out. The butter just to make the crust a little butterier. Uh, the cinnamon Danish swirl just like I said at the start. We're just sprinkling a little cinnamon. A little sweet bakery cinnamon over the top. And the whipped cream because we like whipped cream on things. It, it makes everything better. And it really helps blend the recipe as a whole. Uh, it helps you get a complete flavor rather than just being like peaches, like peach and then pie crust. Not two separate flavors. Now you're getting that that forkful of peach pie and you're getting the total you're getting the total experience. And that's what the whipped cream does. The whipped cream helps blend everything into into a total flavor rather than being a couple of separate flavors that happen to be in the same bottle. Uh, I'm not sure how much more I can ramble on about this recipe. Uh this video should be interesting to edit for sure. For sure, everybody. Uh, be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate. If you're not supporting your local advocacy groups, now's the time to do it. There's so many things. They're trying to take vaping from us again at a state level. The federal stuff, it's still going on. Everything's on a hold. Right now, the states are trying to take your, they're trying to take your flavors. They're trying to tax you out the nose. And then you, even if we went out in the end, with the federal side of things, all these taxes and all these flavor bans and all these public vaping bans, they're still going to be on the books. So look into your local advocacy groups, everybody. If you live in like Ohio, there's a 69% tax on the books. If you live in New Jersey or New York, they're trying to ban flavors. Texas, there's a flavor ban, or not a flavor ban, a vaping ban, complete vaping ban. Someone's trying to push it through in Texas. Oregon, Hawaii, you know, there's things all over the place, all over the place, everybody. So take, take a second, Go over to like the Vapors Technology Association website, whether you like the VTA or not. Go look at what they have because they have every single attempt to, every single attempt by state for a legislator to try and affect your vaping. There, they have it listed state by state. You can go and you can look and see who the person who put the bill up was. So you can make a note, never vote for this person. Protect your vaping rights, everybody. Not for, not for those of us, because at this point, I think most of us, if you're watching this, most of us are fairly well set with everything. We're, you know, we can make our own e-liquids. You know, we've quit smoking. We've walked away from it pretty much, pretty much scot-free at this point. But there's those people who haven't quit smoking. They haven't discovered what a wonderful thing this can be. And, and they haven't discovered the, the, the community that exists around vaping. I just went to Detroit to go hang out with like 50 friends and they were friends. And you know, some of them are as close as family to me for something that I just quit smoking doing this. That's, it's a bizarre thing that we have going, but it's such a cool thing. And I hope that we're able to keep this going for everybody. And I hope that they're all able to give this a try and, and see, what this is about and why we love it all so much and why we why we go to Detroit, Michigan, of all places, to go hang out with Vape Family. So everybody be beautiful to each other. Educate, advocate, be good for this community. I'll see you on that next video, everybody.
missed the button there for a sec. 